everybody, it's Robin from Talks from the Heart. Well, I'm gonna organize my personal rings. This has really taken on a new um, aspect in my planner lineup. It is now basically kind of like a home information place and also my work planner. I do not use it for dailies, tasks or anything like that, mostly just appointments and where I need to be. So what I've done is I did this a couple of days ago. I took all of my um, dividers and inserts that are my favorite and I put them in here and I haven't gotten back to it. So it's not really necessarily going to be a flip. It's more going to be a, I'm going to, I think this is, okay, there we go. An organize and how I want it to look because... Yeah, I don't really go in here in the mornings anymore, but I do I do visit this planner daily. So I just shove some stuff in here and I'm going to pull it out and I'm going to show you. And then I just want to make it a pretty place to be. So these are photographs of my family and my doggy grandchildren. I'm going to put those up here. This is a dashboard that I have that I found and it's hilarious and... I want to keep that in there. My word for the year is capable. So this is just a piece of acetate from Peanuts Planner Co. that I laminated. And then a year at a glance. Oh, and I've got to highlight this off. You know what? That's not why we're here. We're going to just stay on task. So these are things that I want to keep in the front. I want to keep in the front. So I'm going to set it aside. And um, why don't we do this? Why don't I speed this up? and just sort it and get it the way I want it to be. Yeah, I don't like that idea, it did not sit well with me. So this is my um, month at a glance for the whole year. I'm not gonna flip through that for privacy sake. This is something that I uh, laminated some acetate and then I use it for a post-it holder. I need to keep that in there because, see, I've even been doing that. So I'm gonna keep that in there. And then I have my um, February, vertical layout. I'm going to take that out. We're not going to have that in there. I don't really um, keep like back planning stuff except for my month at a glance here. So this is my page marker and then this is um, my verticals that I um, use. I've used these for a long, long time with the Pookie Bear Functional Bundle, and I'm going to continue to do that. This is April. I am totally caught up. Um, uh, feels so good to be caught up. All right, so I'm going to set that aside because I'm going to keep that in here. And then, oh, these are so pretty. Hmm. I might use this, I, oh, I, I was wondering if I wanted to use it as my month at a glance, but I don't know that I like, here, I'll show you December because that can change. I don't know that I like it for the sake of flipping. Oh, I have a page holder here. Some of this is going to have to go away for a while, but this is what I love about rings is that you can just um, decorate it, redecorate it. So if I had my month at a glance and I had this pretty one in here, I'd have to flip it, and I'm not sure that I like that. I like to see the whole thing. So again, as much as I love that, I might have to forego that. I love this too. I think I will forego that and this and um, just save it and use it next time or use it again. So I've got a um, piece of acetate that I put stickers on with my order tracking. Don't need that anymore. I don't need this in here because I don't keep anything YouTube related. So I'm gonna set that aside. This is gorgeous, but I'm gonna take a break from it. I think I'm gonna keep, um, hmm. I might keep this in a miscellaneous section. Okay, so this stuff has codes and stuff. Actually, I'm going to have to pause the camera because I thought I had removed everything private, but I have some work stuff there that shouldn't go out on the on the internet, so give me a second. So this section is just like a general list section. I've got my book section. I'm going to keep that. 
And then after that, I did pull out passwords and personal mailing addresses. So I'm gonna pull that all out. I am going to keep this because I take it to and from work every day. I am going to, and these were the dividers I made. I love them so much. Who I think I might have to keep them. Um, yeah, I might have to keep them. I don't know. I think I am going to keep them. I'm trying to decrease bulk, but then at the same time enjoy a pretty setup. Um, so these are all like ones I've purchased, gotten from a big box store. Um, I think I'm going to just take a break from the butterflies and the flowers right now. I have a personal rings that I keep in a drawer where I keep stuff like that. So it just stays safe, nice and uh, straight. This is, I'm going to keep this and I love this. This is the blanket that Elvira got me for Christmas. Here's Elvira, Sarah, my friend Heidi, and then, um, Rachel, and then extra note paper. I do keep a um, a good amount of note paper in the back because I'm always using it. And I slit my inserts so you can pop them in and out without opening the rings. But since I have the rings open, we're just gonna do that. I guess I'm gonna just kind of show you what I've got and then let's set it up. This shouldn't be complicated or take too long. So I have uh, a lot of this is from Oki Plans um, and there's a code below. This is adorable. So that has to stay in the front. And then there's vellums. Since we're gonna take a break from the butterflies, we'll do that. I love the hearts. I've rounded all the corners. I'm trying to, so be enough for yourself first. The rest of the world can wait. I like those two together and I think I like it like that. And then of course I have coffee and daisies. Honestly, I think I'm gonna pair these together too and save the daisies for my birthday month. It's my favorite flower. Um, this is an acetate butterfly, so let's save those. I like this for the list section. This is a card my mom sent me and she sent me a gift card thanking me for um, something. And I, I love it. And I want this in here, but it's very summery. So I think I'm gonna wait. Um, coffee, hearts, butterflies. Okay, so, oh, and let's save this for when I use the daisy vellum. So let's, hmm. You can clearly see that I have a lot to pick from. And I this is all Louis Vuitton inspired. So I'm gonna set that aside and I'm gonna go with this kind of flower and coffee. So what I want is, let's start from the front and go to the back. I want my um, year at a glance first. And actually, where did my holidays go? I'm looking. So I want this first, and I think I want a piece of vellum over that. So let's let's look at what I have. I like the girl. This is so pretty. I think, ooh, I like the coffee. Mm, no. Let's pick one of these. I like this one. So that's going to be first. And actually, I always have my photos first. So let's do that. And I think I'm just going to keep moving without. I don't want to change the front part of the setup because I really enjoy that. And so let's let's do that. And then the 2023. Oh, I like that. Okay, 2023. Then we'll have this really cute vellum over the year at a glance. And then let's add something like that. Hmm. 
I think I'm switching this out for the coffee. I don't know where I got this from. Maybe I want the hearts. I think I do. I think I want to stick with, I'm not in a coffee decorating mood. I want to stick with this. And then this will be for my month at a glance. Then I go into my vertical. Um, I'm looking. <laughs> Stuff is everywhere. Then I go into my vertical. So I have my March and my April. I want a divider for that. that. No, I like that. This is going to go at the end, so I'm going to set that up here. And then then I'm going to go into um, my list section. So I have plenty of stuff to decorate with. So let's do this with this and I like that. We're just going to keep it simple. And then in my list section, I've had this forever. I'm going to give that a rest. And boy, the list section has a lot of stuff. It has a lot of stuff. So I might have to add, um, I don't know, I might have to add something to separate the different things and then I need one more divider and that's I'll just keep using these where I put in um, my passwords and then my addresses and I want a vellum to separate that so I, I think we're gonna go with these two coffee ones yeah see it's coming together all right so I've got my passwords and then um, another vellum and the addresses. So we'll do that. And then finish it off with my photographs of my friends. I keep those separate from my family photographs. I probably will forever have the front section and the back section the same. And um, all right, so let me let me go in and add um, this private stuff. I'll be with you in a second. All right, then we have the weeklies. And then this, oh, that's so cute. And then this is my month at a glance for the whole year, and then my year at a glance. And this is adorable. And my holidays that I typed up myself. I just typed up myself and I put it in a sleeve. And then when the holiday is over, I just pull it out and highlight it. And then some of these dashboards are absolutely something that's tradition for me and my rings. I kind of feel like, hmm, I kind of feel like I want, I think I do. That looks so cute like that back like that. And then I think I just want the 2023 up front, the very, very first thing. So, starting to run out of room. I mean, I'm telling you, all this stuff does bulk up a rings planner, but I don't, I just find it so super relaxing um, to just flip through it. And so it's a thing. All right, I like that because then my photographs aren't pressed up against the fly leaf there. Yay, all right, we're gonna snap it shut and then let's flip through uh, what we have. So I have affirmation cards and a little journaling card, my Pookie Bear Cuties. I've got lots of stuff in the pockets, but this is now what it looks like. And I think it's really cleaner looking I do need to go through the list area and um, let's see if I can, there we go. I do need to go through the list area and kind of clean that up. Um, 
because a lot of it is from my previous way of using this planner and I don't necessarily need all of that. So oh, I love the window idea of that. Uh, I might have to add that, you guys. Oh, but it covers this up. No, nope, I'm not. I'm not going to get distracted. <laughs> so then, my April, my March, my April, and then the divider I made, and I did uh, top tabs because it was just easier. I didn't want it to compete with this. And then I need to add um, some more of these from Oki Plans. I've been using Post-its a lot, you guys. Um, all right, so then the next section I have to skip, and then my lists I have to skip, and then uh, I'm trying to think. Do I have, I have a journaling card, so, all right, I can't figure out a way. All right, I'll have to do this, and I'm so sorry you won't get to see a lot of the dashboard, but then I've got, yeah, I can't, I can't do it. There's no way. There's no way to do it. I've got addresses and passwords, and I do carry those with me because um, it's a necessity. And then I've got this. I just took a piece of vellum and an R vinyl and created, laminated this. And then the photos, and then empty note pages, and a page lifter. And then back here are some laminated journaling cards. So that is, let's see how it closes now. Fingers crossed. You know how that is if you're in a rings. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow, much better. And now th that's really all I need uh, for my work planner. It's just, uh, and it goes to and from work every day, like clockwork. So I hope that, I hope this was fun. You guys, check out Oki Plans, such cute stuff. And then don't forget to always sign up for Pookie Bear Cutie's email list because that's when you know when the functional bundle goes live and um, stuff like that. So thank you so much for watching. Let's get some light on the subject. All right. And... There we go, sort of. I'm, you know, I'm no cinematographer. <laughs> so I've got all this left. I will put this in my rings. I'm not, I'm not gonna hide the fact that I overbought because, um, yeah, I definitely got excited about the Louis Vuitton inspired stuff and then the coffee. But I like that I have, I also don't want to shame myself on buying too much the first time I visited her shop because it was so cute. But, you know, I do like to have options and um, it's always nice to be able to switch out your decor in your personal rings or any rings for that matter. So, um, oh, I need, I wonder if I need this somewhere. I might have to add that later. I'm actually going to tuck it in the back pocket and give some thought. I might have to do a separate, like, oh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a separate work list, and then um, then I can have personal list because I do like to use this as a brain dump. Okay, I think that's it. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and always enjoy today. Bye, everybody. Mm -hmm.